Welcome everyone, Farmer Cup here. This is going to be a guide on how to produce silage in Farming Simulator 22. So this guide is going to talk about silage bales, silage additive, silage bunkers, grass silage, and chaff silage from corn and other crops. So we're going to talk about all those various things throughout this video. So if this is what you're looking for, um, or if those are the things you want to learn about, then this is the video that's going to help you out. So if you do want to skip ahead to a specific topic down below in the YouTube slider bar, you should be able to skip ahead. But we're going to talk about silage bales first. So first things first, I do have a video out right now on how to grow grass. So if you don't know how to do that, um, make sure you watch that video. But after you grow grass, you're going to go ahead and mow it. So we're going to use this mower here. Again, I talk about all of this in my grass video. But I'm just going to go ahead and hire a worker to start mowing. This is in swath dropping mode right now. So it's going to leave a swath behind for me just like this, which will make it easier for me to bale. So to do silage bales, you just need to grow grass like this. And then there's two ways really to get the silage bales. So if we go talk about equipment in here, we go to balers first things first the easiest way is to use a baler like this or not like that sorry like this one which we're going to use here in a second but let me open up where it has a baler and a wrapper on the back and it'll always if you want to know if it has a wrapper or not it'll have this kind of design on the back and over here it'll give you a foil color option so you can change the color if you want to of your foil or you can use a baler like this now this one doesn't have the wrapper on the back so you then have to purchase a uh, wrapper which should be found under bale wrappers here you have to purchase one of these to be able to wrap the bales separately so um, this one will do square and round bales this one will do just round bales these ones you place bales into them and then they will wrap them for you so you have to use a, a front loader you place the bales um, into here and then as they it'll move it in there wrap it and it makes a big long stretch of wrapped bale so i'd Probably avoid those for the time being unless you really want to do it that way. Um, these are going to be easier to do it about. But I recommend using a baler wrapper combo just because it makes life so much easier for you. Um, so let me go ahead and we'll just stop this guy from working here real quick. And then if we hop into our tractor here with the baler, so this has a baler wrapper combo. Now, if we open up the help menu up there in the upper left hand corner, it does have the, um, or it should have, let me get over in the bale. This one actually may not have an option for. Um, different bale sizes. Let's look in the store here real quick. This one does not have it, does it? No, this one just has 125 centimeter bales. Now, if you do go to one like this that does 125 um, or 125 to 180 centimeter bales, notice here the wrapping icon, it'll only wrap 125 to 150 centimeter bales. So don't do 180 centimeter bales and expect them to get wrapped. So if I come over here, I have the pickup lowered, turn it on. I am now, oop, do I not have it loaded? Lowered? Nope, I don't. There we go. Now it's actually baling grass for us here. So if we drive over the grass down to the bottom right hand corner, you can see it's slowly filling up. Now, if you're using the Vicon fast bale on the mod hub, uh, you won't have to slow down at all, just keep going. But for this one, now that it's full, it'll automatically unload onto the back and wrap it there. And then I can keep going. Now, another new feature for Farming Center 22, up there in the upper left hand corner, you can see the Z button to turn on the automatic drop. So if I leave that off for a second here, if we keep going. Getting more grass here. Once it's done wrapping that bale, which it is now done, it will not drop that bale. I have to hit Y up there on the upper left-hand corner to unload it before it'll do another one. But if I hit Z, it'll turn on automatic dropping, so it'll just drop it as it goes. And now it has another bale ready to go. And it'll move that other bale out just like that. So that's how you get silage bales like that. Now, after you have them wrapped, this is not a silage bale yet. If I walk up to it, I have super strength on. It's the only reason I can move this. Um, down there in the bottom right-hand corner, you can see bale it says owned by well us uh, has 3500 liters of grass in it right now fermenting is zero percent mass is 620 kilograms so this does have to actually ferment um over the course of i believe it's from testing it seems to be two months we'll ferment this or maybe it's a month but we'll take a look at that here in a second um i haven't done a ton with silage bales but we'll take a look at that here in a second but that is everything as far as silage bales go we're going to fast forward time to ferment our other silage later so we'll see exactly how long it takes to uh, ferment this in a little bit but that is how you get silage bales now another way to use grass or do grass silage is if you have grass mowed and, and windrows like this you can use a loading wagon like this guy right here which i'll show you in the store to pick up the grass so this is found in the store loading wagon forage wagons um, you can pick up the grass using any of these. Now, all of these options in here, except for this first one, if you go in here, we'll have an option for silage additive tank, yes or no. 
Um, I highly recommend if you're doing silage to add that on there. Um, honestly, or if you're just picking up grass in general to add that on there, um, it's definitely worth it. We will talk more about silage additive and what it does um, here in the next portion. But just note that essentially what it does is it increases your yield, but we'll talk about how to use it and all that. So after you have your grass mowed, just like we did for the baling and picked up into a forage wagon like this, um, you need to place one of these in front of us here at Bunker Silo. These are found inside of the build menu under silos, scroll down to the end and you can place them here like this. Now they do snap together, which is a new feature. So if you have the of the same size, this one won't snap together because it's a bigger one. But if you have them of the same size, they will snap together. Um, you also can, if you purchase the BGA, which is over here, you can use their, or you actually don't have to purchase it, I should say. Um, you can use their bunker silos over there if you don't want to buy one. I always like to purchase my, mo my own just so I have it. Now if I pull into the bunker cell here to open the help menu, Upper there in the upper left hand corner, it says fill level for chaff. Grass will turn into chaff once you put it into a bunker silo um, and compacting is 0%. So we'll have to unload it into here. So I'll hit left control I to start unloading. It'll start unloading it into this bunker silo here. And then there we go, we'll stop. Now I'm just gonna put that amount in there. Now it says 23,793, it's how many liters is in here and compacting is 0%. Now watch as I back over this. That compacting is now Going up, 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 all the way just above 24, 25 now. Now that we're outside of the silo, it's not going to show it. Now you can compact by driving over it with your equipment. It is can be a little tricky sometimes, but you also have another option. You can either go into here and you can purchase, oh, where are they at in here? Uh, either a leveler to help you level out your silage and compact it, or a silo compaction unit to help you compact your silo quicker. Uh, these are probably the best way to go about it, but um, you can again do it with a tractor, just like if I drive over this again, and weight is key, the more weight the better for compacting it with equipment. You can see we're already at 47, 48, 49, and we're getting there. But I'll go ahead and finish compacting this real quick. All right, now if you look up their upper left-hand corner, it says that the uh, compacting is at 100%. Now notice some of it kind of came out to the front of the bunker silo, so that stuff likely will not get covered by the silo. Now if I walk up to it, up there in the upper left-hand corner, it says R to blanket silo. So if it R, it will blanket our silo, and again, it missed everything outside of it. Now you see I can't I was having, I got a little stuck there. So if you're not careful, you might get stuck. So I recommend blanketing it from the outside. But if we walk up, it says fermenting silage at 0%. So it's at 0%. So we know our bale's also at 0%. But essentially that's how you would get um, grass silage right there is you just place it into a bunker silo and then you would let it fill up from there. So now what we are gonna do, since it's at 0%, this is at 0%, um, we're gonna go ahead and run just a little bit of a test here. Um, so I'm just gonna bump the time up about 5,000 times, we can see that's at 5%. This one over here is at 25, 17, 18, 19. This one's at 46%, so this one's going a fair amount faster. I was at about 1040 in the morning. We are running one day months. So this one's ready to go, probably about 24 hours. And this one you can see is 51%, so this one's gonna take 48 hours to be ready to go. Now, after you have it all good to go, you have it compacted, fermented, you can now sell it or use it. And I need to walk up to it, and if I open up the help menu, hit R to open silo. Now it will continue to open up as you get closer to this section down here. Now, here you have silage ready to go. You have to be careful to avoid this when you're picking it up out of here. Uh, but you do have silage right here ready to go. So you can either use it for obviously feeding animals, making TMR, uh, total mixed ration, all that stuff. I have videos out on animals and all that stuff. Um, or you can sell it, which is what I uh, like to do with my silage to make some extra cash if I don't need it for animals. Down here, silage you can sell to those places. Now, how do you get it out of here? Well, there's a couple ways. Uh, the simplest way probably, are not the simplest, I'd say that maybe the cheapest way is to use like a front loader or telehandler with a bucket or a wheel loader with a bucket and then scoop it out one by one. Or you can go under belt systems. You can hook this belt up to this belt um, and then that small belt will pick it up, put it onto the second belt and then you can load it into a trailer manually that way. If you are using the bunker silos by the BGA, you also can load it from the bunker silos directly into the cell point for the BGA um, if you have those conveyor belts. So that does make life a little bit easier for you. Um, so just like that, that's how you get the grass silage. Now the next thing I wanna talk about is kind of the more complex version of silage, but probably the best way to do silage is kind of chaff silage. So uh, we're gonna grow corn for this um, right now. Corn is the most common thing to use um, to do silage. Then you need to you chop the corn using a forge chopper, which I'll show you all that in a second. So we have some grown corn here. Now you can chop it a growth stage early, or you should be able to chop it a growth stage early. So if it's not fully grown, you should still be able to do, um, be able to, chop it into chaff to get your um, chaff to make your silage. So um, here we go, we have a forage harvester set up. Now you can either 
Um, use a forge harvester like this and then hire a worker and then you can pull the trailer next to it and load it into the trailer or you can get a trailer that'll actually hook up to the back of the forge harvester. This one doesn't really look right, but it does hook up to the back of it um, and you can go about it this way. Now forge harvesters in the store, down under forge harvesters, right through here, all these guys in here. Now notice at the bottom, they all have this icon right here. They all take silage additive. This is where we're going to start talking about silage additive a little bit um, here as we get into it. We'll talk about it before we get going. So um, buy a forage harvester. Then if we go to combinations, it'll give you the easiest way to know what you can use with it. Um, then you're going to need a header for it. These guys all right here, you can see down at the bottom, we'll do all the crop types here. All these crop types, so corn, wheat, barley, oats, uh, canola, soy, sorghum, and sunflower. So you can chop all of those into silage. Typically and historically speaking, corn has always been the best. I haven't tested it in Farming Simulator 22 though, but these all work on corn. We scroll down. Um, there's this guy right here, the one we're using, we'll do corn. Um, we have this guy right here, which is kind of a mower as well. It will do these crop types, yes, but it'll also do grass. So you can pick up the grass and mow it and collect it all at once using this here. And then we have this guy at the end, which just picks grass up off the ground. So if you had a windrow out, you could use this machine, theoretically speaking, to pick up the grass off the ground for you. So um, we have this set up out here with the trailer on the back. Now let's talk about the silage additive. So again, you can add it to your forage wagons if you're picking up using a forage wagon to get a higher yield, and you can add it to this to get a higher yield. And I believe the yield is, a 5% increase, yeah, it's a 5% increase from here. So here's a pallet of it, here's what a pallet looks like. You can purchase the pallets of it inside the store under pallets, we scroll down here, $2,990 for 60 liters. Now that does seem like a lot of money for a very small amount, but this forage harvester I think only holds, we already have 10 liters in there, it only holds 20 liters, so, um, and you'll see how low it goes down. You can see down there bottom right hand corner, which by the way, to fill it up, you just pull up next to it with a forage harvester or a forage wagon and an R to load. So now we're gonna go ahead and drive forward, lower it down, B to turn it on. And now you'll see we have chaff coming out the back there. Now look at the bond silage, the silage additive. We've used so far 0.10 liters or 0.1 liters to do that big of an area there. And we're getting obviously a lot of chaff in the back there. So very easy. That's essentially what you need to know as far as silage goes, as far as this goes. Now, after you have it in the back there, after you have your chaff, it's as simple as doing the grass silage in a bunker. All you have to do is place it in a bunker, compact it, cover it, let it ferment, and then go from there. It's very easy from that. So that is everything you guys need to know as far as silage goes. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.